The U.S. Department of Energy's Brookhaven National Laboratory is home to world-class science, world-class facilities, and world-class people. Located 60 miles east of New York City on a 5,300-acre campus, Brookhaven has over 2,700 researchers and support staff. It is also the home of six Nobel Prizes, plus discoveries ranging from synthetic insulin to the diagnostic tracer used in heart stress tests. Brookhaven's prestige rests in large part on its user facilities, such as the National Synchrotron Light Source. The NSLS provides intensely bright X-ray, ultraviolet, and infrared light for use by thousands of visiting scientists from across the U.S. and abroad. Always with an eye toward future cutting-edge research, Brookhaven is looking forward to building and operating its newest facility, the NSLS-2. NSLS-2 will have a unique design with world-leading brightness and flux, exceptional beam stability, and the world's finest capabilities for X-ray imaging. This scientific user facility will enable the exploration of many scientific challenges, and the advances in science will result in a range of innovations, from next-generation energy technologies to new drugs for fighting disease. NSLS-2 presents a number of technical challenges to build. Meeting such challenges is where Brookhaven truly shines. We are in the planning stages now, and the project team is very enthusiastic about the future of this machine. Today, you will meet some of the people who will plan, build, operate, and use NSLS-2. We're all excited about this new bright light on the horizon. Well, the NSLS-2 facilities are unique in that they um, must be able to support and provide the stability to support the operation of uh, beam lines that will be uh, very, very closely focused and provide uh, brightness that is many times greater than anything achieved to date in facilities of this nature. We're looking for talented engineers to support the uh, development and construction of the uh, conventional facilities. Uh, we're looking for electrical engineers, mechanical engineers, and civil structural engineers that would be uh, responsible for overseeing the design effort and then as we transition into actually constructing the facility, uh, the construction of the buildings and overseeing that to ensure that the facility is constructed properly and ready for operations. This machine provides very bright beams. So what, what does this mean? It means very intense beams, a high beam current, uh, but also it means that this beam needs to be confined in a very small beam size. So this, uh, this combination of a high intensity and a small beam size is what makes these beams uh, uh, special. There's a, a very large uh, uh, um, range of signs which, which can which will profit from, uh, from, a, from a light source like this. There is material sciences, there is biology, there is uh, a ch a chemistry, there is uh, uh, surface physics, there is uh, applied, uh, um, uh, applied sciences like uh, material sciences. Uh, so it's a very it covers a very large range. This machine is getting built for the scientific community and uh, we need to extract the maxima uh, we need to get the, be the best output out of it. And for that, uh, well, we need to start thinking very hard, which is the experiments that we cannot do now, but we want to do in the future. And thinking that is not so easy sometimes. I think it's a great place to, to grow and to, to, to learn. And, uh, and I, I don't see never an end to learn new things in the light source. Uh, you learn all kinds of stuff. and uh, and. Uh, you never can get bored there, that's for sure. I mean, if, if you keep active and you want to be uh, involved and uh, uh, you are on your feet, on your toes in order to, to get the experiments done, then you're learning every day something new and it's great. I don't see anything, uh, it's very brain stimulating if you want to say. I like that. It's exciting and it's good to work on different work, not the same kind of work every day. Otherwise it would, you know, it would, be get, it would get pretty monotonous and boring if you were working on the same thing every single day. So it's good to work on, you know, different things. You got to be versatile. 
Brookhaven Lab is a great place to work. I've always looked at the lab as kind of being um, like the icing on the cake. If you can be employed here, uh, you are, you know, accomplished. You've accomplished something, you know, in your career. Students should definitely start to get involved with work that's going on at the NSLS because they're going to make up a big part of the workforce at NSLS too. So I think it's a great opportunity for them to get their foot in the door now and learn what goes on at the NSLS so that they can, in fact, be a major part of NSLS too. Doing work uh, in the health-related field and the biology field, it's actually very re rewarding to me because Although what we're doing is basic science, in the long run, it may have an effect on drugs that are going on the market to improve you know, the quality of life for someone, for older people um, you know, who may have osteoporosis, who may have osteoarthritis. We also study Alzheimer's disease. Um, so it's really rewarding to know that one day our research may, may help bring a cure um, for one of these diseases. The NSLS2 project is a little bit different than the work that I've done previously at Brookhaven. It's a team environment that I've never seen before or experienced. We have very important goals that we know we need to reach, so everyone is working as a team to make sure that those goals are reached. We have had the opportunity to hire an entirely new staff, so we have gotten to handpick all the people that are working on this project, which is, you, you don't get opportunities like that very often. And it's a pleasure because the people who are working on the project want to be here, love the idea of NSLS2, and it's very exciting for all of us. We work like a family. We care about one another. Uh, and so. That's how we uh, can be extremely efficient, productive o over the last uh, 20, 25 years. And I think uh, I would recommend anybody to come to uh, NSLS too, uh, because this is an, another opportunity to build a new facility and then grow with it. Uh, I think it's an extremely e exciting uh, opportunity. I think I had it, and I wish uh, other young people would have the similar experience that I had. We are currently anticipating the next important milestone for the NSLS2 project. We are actively hiring new employees from physicists, engineers, and technicians to support staff. Come to Brookhaven and join us in this exciting work. <laughs>